So with the sad news of the actor Matthew Perry um passed passed away um last Saturday. Um he was found unresponsive in his home in LA uh, in a bathtub. Um you know, it's really sad news um, with Matthew Perry, who's, you know, will always be known, you know, Chandler from Friends. Um, you know, I have, you know, very fond memories uh, back when I was a teenager watching Friends. Um, I didn't get into it until around 2006 times. So that was two years after uh, the final series, but I would watch it, you know, every day. It would be on after I'd come home from school. There'd be two episodes in E4. I'd go through it and I really got hooked on it. And he was definitely one of the probably my favorite characters. Um, you know, really funny guy. You just that, you know, just that sarcasm, that sharp, uh, quick witted sarcasm w- w- was really class. And it was a really good show and a lot of um, really really great moments. Um, you know, from friends. Um, and it's it's really sh- sad though. Um, you know, he was really you know really a guy you know a troubled soul. Um, you know, had a lot of problems, you know, well documented when it came to alcohol with drug abuse. Um, I'm just reading here on the independent uh with friend stars um shared a joint statement on Monday um on Matthew Perry's death, saying they were utterly devastated. We're so utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. We're more than just castmates, we're a family. There's so much to say, but right now we're gonna take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. In a time we will say more as when we're able. For now, our thoughts are in love are with Matt, Matty's family, friends, family, friends, and everyone who loved them around the world. And um, I was, I mean, just it was so huge, wasn't it? The, the show Friends, it just was popular all over the world. And um, and I'm sure as the years went by with doing the show and and the chemistry and just the laughs that those guys would have had on um on set. And then, you know, I've seen, you know, outtakes of them, you know, bloopers and, you know, it seems like there's some real funny moments there. And um, it must have been really emotional, you know, when they, they were coming near the end, you know, especially filming the scenes for the, you know, for the very last episode. Um, you know, going through the stuff here. So they're saying that, you know, post-mortem report is inconclusive. Um, apparent drowning in his hot tub. Um and and you know there are people that have speculated that um it 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 is because of the JAB um he was a big you know pushing the the the, the JAB you know there was a t shirt you wore could, saying could I be you know the could I be you know that whole thing Chandler was known for the character you know could I be any more vaccinated and I think as I have a certain I feel a certain way when it comes to that but I'm not gonna um you know it's kind of low hanging fruit to kind of take, take a, a, a dig at that. You know, the guys, you know, this is somebody, you know, he's no longer with us and that's people who, you know, friends, family have lost a loved one. So I don't think it's, you know, it's, it would be below me to kind of start taking digs like that about, you know, the JB him, and that's what it could be, you know, the cause of his death. But there was also, you know, this guy had a lot of other problems, you know, when it came to alcohol, when it came to drugs, and um, you know, but he did, he had, he did help, he helped, a, you know, he helped a lot of people. That's the thing because he had his own. I think it was his own. Um, he set, he set up his own treatment center, I believe. And um, so to read in here, Hank Azaria says Matthew Perry helped him get sober. Um, the Simpsons voice actor, and he said he's been sober for seventeen years. Night he went to a he went to AA. Matthew brought him in. The whole first year he was sober. We went to meetings together, and he was such a great um he, as a sober person. He was so caring and giving and wise, and totally helped them get sober. So he's he's done a lot for done a lot of good, um for a lot of people. Um, with doing this video though, I, I'm I do want to speculate some things about this because there's some some things I've come across online. It's made me think, mm, you know, is this, could this be legitimately he just, that he died, he passed away, you know, no suspicious circumstances, you know. Um, some of the stuff I came across, and I come here, there was a, 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 a tweet here. And there's some photographs here, which I found a little bit alarming. Um, 
but the tweet here is saying nothing out of the ordinary here, just your regular predictive programming, signaling that this was another fake celebrity death. Probably just another inverted elite star transitioning back to the original God-given body out of the limelight. And it has hashtag Matthew Perry, hashtag drowning, hashtag hoax. And looking into this here, um, you know, the first photograph, if I click on that, Chandler, the character, in a bathtub. Chandler versus a bath, name a more iconic duo. And this goes back to the uh, the series, I think this would have been 2001, 2002 time. It might have been just around the time after Monica and Chandler, their characters got married. And Chandler, you know, Monica was commenting about how great a bath was and getting a bath. But then Chandler um, didn't think that was a very manly thing, getting a bath, the showers, what men do, something along those lines. And then Chandler was, you know, very, very caught, you know, in the bath. And he was loved, loved the baths at that, after that. So you have the whole thing about being in a bathtub, right? You know, they say Matthew Perry was found dead in his bathtub. And then you go to a photograph here. I can't, the woman here on the left, I don't know what this, who this character would have been, but looks like one of the later ones, maybe 2001 time. And it looks like Ross, the character Ross, played by David Schwimner, is saying, would you rather drown or be burned alive? Hmm, kind of odd, huh? Is this some predictive programming going on here? And um, there's the very uh, famous one with the water you see here with they when they were dancing around, fooling around uh, for that video with the opening credits, you know, with the song playing, I'll be there for you. Hmm, that's a little bit odd as well. Um, but there's another one as well. Um, another photograph here where it says, Chandler, I'll guess I'll be the one who dies first. Wow, very... I mean, wow! <laughs> it's just, I mean, is it? I mean, is there something to get from this, or is this just kind of like a freakish coincidence, you know? And there was another scene as well. I think it was the final series when it was like they're in the coffee house, all the characters, and they're talking as if everybody's there, but the thing is, they're not all there. And then it is the only one who isn't there is Chandler. He's the one person that isn't there. It was a very odd, another odd scene. And we're just wondering, is this stuff here, is this some predictive programming that's going on here that, you know, with these, you know, these things that have been put in there years, God, years ago, but still put in there so subliminally, subliminally when this happens, this event with Matthew Perry, no one's entirely shocked. It's already there in their subconscious. Um, there was stuff about um, George Michael um and there's stuff out there just before he passed away um there was actually a drama uh, three years prior called having you and there was a character that when they were talking about george michael and someone said george michael isn't dead and then the other character goes to him, he says really are you sure hmm, a little bit strange huh and then there was even some other stuff that year i mean you know george michael i mean he passed away a bloody christmas day for crying out loud you know last christmas wham that's one of the songs he's known for the most, right? Might be the, the, his most famous song when you think about it, that or, you know, that or Careless Whisper. Um, but, you know, the, there was um, the Heather Trot character in EastEnders and she was going on about, oh, I want to play, play me my George Michael tape. I think she was saying that to Shirley, her best friend. And then um, Shirley goes, what did your last slave die of? I believe that was Christmas Eve episode. And then um, the day after, um, on Christmas Day, there's something they had about, like, they have these crackers, you know, the whole thing where you have a joke, a lame joke and a Christmas cracker. And everyone ends up with the same answer. Something about Lamb last Christmas, something in relation to that, or something to do with George Michael. And then the Mick Carter character, played by Danny Dyer, then goes, raises his glass, to absent ones. And then it might have only been a couple hours later, George Michael is pronounced dead. So you think, what the hell? Is this just, again, is it a freakish coincidence? Or is this purposely been put in these pro in, in, the, in these TV shows? Again, subliminally. So again, we're not surprised. It's there when it happens. I don't know. Is that just too out there of a conspiracy theory? Or is there something to this? 
And, you know, the whole thing about being found dead in a bathtub, um, that's a lot of suspicious as well, because it seems to be that seems to be the thing where a lot of these Hollywood stars are found dead um, in a bathtub. And that's something that's a little bit, I don't know. Um, and let's say if you really were self-destructive and you wanted to take yourself out of the game, would that be the way that you do it, that you would drown in a bathtub? I don't know. Um, but the whole thing with Whitney Houston, that to me is quite suspicious, looking into that, where apparently, you know, the day before that, where she was found dead in a bathtub, her um, daughter, Bobby Christina, was found dead. Well, no, sorry, I'm not saying found dead. She almost drowned in a bathtub. That's out there, well documented. But then later on, Bobby Christina, though, was found dead in a bathtub about three, four years later. And it's just something about that, just something that's awful suspicious to me. I mean, the Whitney Houston one, no doubt. I mean, didn't she just, she passed away around the time of Valentine's Day, where that's going to be a big thing, where a lot of times, you know, around that time, people are going to, you know, be interested in, you know, download by love, love songs, you know, from Apple or whatever. And then, you know, her song shot up around that time. And the charts um, with George Michael, you know, Christmas, you know, that would have, his songs would have gone up in the charts around that point when he passed away. I mean, with this, okay, so you think, well, what's there to get there with Matthew Perry? You know, <laughs> Matthew Perry, you know, to take him out. Well, some might say, well, now, you know, be it if you're going to be real cynical about it, when it comes to backdated stuff with friends and DVDs, people would go out and buy them. But I don't think that's really a thing now because many people don't buy DVDs. But at the same time, is this just one of these things? Like, a, Could this be like a sacrificial thing with Hollywood? You take someone out? I don't know. Some people, I mean, some people from this tweet here, it, it seems like someone's implying that this would have been, it's a fake death, that he hasn't actually died. I don't know about that, but there are some quite out there theories there that people fake their deaths, that Elvis's death was faked, and Tupac's death, and this whole thing that they're now just a quiet life somewhere, you know, maybe out in Arizona or somewhere, they're part of a witness protection program. I don't know, that's a little bit too out there for me. But there's definitely, to me, some questions about this whole thing with Matthew Perry, though. Something about this is a little bit odd to me. But the stuff with Matthew Perry, though, you know, he, he seemed to be very much for many years in self-destruct. He was in self-destruct mode. Um, even, you know, at the peak of Friends, and, you know, he's incredibly successful, wealthy guy, famous. But you see the stuff here, being addicted to Vicodin after a jet, jet ski accident, accident. He was taking many as 55 pills a day. Christ. So how he's able, how he survived all this time, taking 55 pills a day, like Christ almighty. Um, 30 years old, suffered from an alcohol-induced pancreatitis. Um, and so he really had a big problem there when it came to drugs and alcohol. Um, and there was some stuff here going through that, um, Jennifer Aniston, she was, uh, breaks down at the thought of losing Matthew Perry. They didn't think that, you know, he, the way he was going, he wasn't going to be around long. He wasn't going to have a future. Um, so this could just be a thing of all the years of wear and tear, you know, the, the, the alcohol, taking drugs. It could be that. But then there could be just a little bit more something to this, though, with the whole thing, this whole thing about apparently being found dead, um, and, and you know, dr drowned, you know, dr in, you know, in a bathtub. Um, there was a whole thing of like he was just playing pickleball out with people a few a few hours before that. Um, I don't know. If they suspected anything, or maybe they, they they said he wasn't, you know, he wasn't hundred percent himself. Um, but I'm just looking at this here. Matt Manasseh was out, said he was doing really well, but um, I don't know. There's definitely some questions there. I mean, could this, is this, you know, stuff here with Matthew Perry, is that a case of predictive pro programming or is this genuine, is this 100% real and that he did actually, you know, he passed away and it was, it, it was, you know, nothing suspicious like that when it comes to people, you know, taking them out. Not, not, not like, you know, the, I mean, that's maybe happened over the years. And again, I've, like, as I've said, the controversy there to me, questions about Whitney Houston, George Michael. But, you know, it would be, I, I still have some questions there when it comes to this stuff with Matthew Perry, though, being found uh, dead in a bathtub. But that's not to disparage this and to like, you know, disrespect. And, it, and if like with fat friends, family, loved ones, but it was just for me, it's just I like to 
get to the truth of these matters. And I do I do question official narratives, the so-called official narratives that the mainstream media put out there. But those are my thoughts on that, guys, with the video with this with Matthew Perry. Feel free to leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this.